Yes, hi Riley. All right, today's theme is low impact hit. Low impact hit. So we're still gonna work up a sweat. We're just not gonna be jumping. And so it's gonna be easy on your joints. High heart rate, get things going this Thursday. How are you guys feeling? How are you doing? Don't be scared. Never be scared. Um, don't be scared. That's all I have to say. I don't know. I say that and then I like, again, like I write these workouts being like, it's going to be fine. And then I do them and it's like, so we'll see. I'm just as like the unknown as you guys right now because I haven't done it yet either. Um, that being said, you can always take your modifications. You can always stop and have a break and drink some water and recover. Um, don't feel like you need to like push through insanely. If you just don't feel like doing that today, that's okay. But it's all, it's your workout, all up to you. How are you guys doing? How are we feeling? Are we ready to work out, ready to go? It's been a hot tamale second since I have been on here. Hot tamale second. There was a huge storm last night, so that means that I got a great night's rest. I love storms. All right, you guys, it's 6.32. Thank you, I did have a great trip. If you guys have ever been to Colorado, Colorado Springs, oh, it's freaking beautiful. Long drive from Texas, but beautiful. Okay, I think it's time to warm up. So let's get that going. As always, I'm gonna throw that out there. Make sure you're following me on Spin City right here on Instagram and tagging me after you work out and when you guys do these. And then also on YouTube, you can follow me as my full name, Sydney Tarabi. Link is my bio I just posted. A Q and A. So last week I'll ask me some questions. I finally uploaded it like yesterday, so it's a good one, I think. Anyways, let's do this. Let's warm up. Okay. Find your space. Find your mat. Turn to the back of it. What you're gonna do is just reach up all the way to the sky. Big, big, big reach overhead. Ooh, and then all the way down. Kind of wiggle your booty side to side. And then walk it out to your high plank. Give me a downward facing dog. Back to your high plank. And then walk it back in. Reach up all the way, nice and tall. And then just repeat, go through that motion. All the way down, hang out here for a little bit as you swing side to side. And then walk it out to that high plank. Hold for a couple seconds. Downward facing dog. Pedal out those legs if you want to. Back into your high plank. And then walk everything back in. Awesome, y'all. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Push your head through your chest or through your arms. Walk it out into your high plank. Everyone meet me in this high plank. 
And then from here, you're going to reach your opposite hand to opposite toe as your hips hinge back into that downward dog. Come back through center, right hand, left toe, and through center. Reaching across the body here. Three, two, one. Meet me in that high plank. Open up to your side plank here. You can either stack your feet one over the other. Top leg can go in front of your bottom leg. Give me a few arm circles. Hold it for another 10 seconds or so. Wake up that oblique, that side of that body. And then come back through center. Same thing, other side. Again, you can stack your feet or have one in front of the other. A few arm circles one way, a few arm circles the other. Hold it to five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Drop your knees down to the ground. Should have done this first, but we're going to do this now. Drop your belly down down to the ground. You're going to that tabletop position. Just go into some cat cows. Cat cows. Inhale, drop your belly. <sighs> Exhale, push your spine to the sky. All right, knee back in that tabletop position. Feet go back into that high plank. Walk your hands back into your feet. Last little bit, and then we're going to go for a compound movement. Make sure your feet are wide enough so when you go down to your uh, hip opener, you have your heels to the ground. So feet out, toes slightly pointed out. Grab onto your ankles with your hands. Drop your booty down to the ground, and then push it back up to the sky. Using your elbows as a little bit of a prop here to push open those legs if you want to. And you don't have to go all the way down below parallel. Just go as low as you can without your heels lifting, without your spine rounding out too much. And give me one more. Hips up to the sky. Slowly roll all the way up to standing. Roll your shoulders back and down. And then start to go into reverse lunges here, right and left. Right and left. Nice, y'all. Three, two, and one. Body weight squats all the way down, all the way up. Arms can either go straight out in front of you or right at your chest. Final bit, fast squats in three, two, and 
One. Down and up. Three, two, and rest. Warm up complete. If you guys need a little bit extra, feel free to do a little bit extra. Otherwise, let's go to the set. Right? Right. All right. We're back. So it's the same timing as our low impact from last week. It's gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, six times through these five moves. So we're gonna repeat moves, room, whoop, moves one through five continuously. Probably not rest any extra on the end and just go right into it. And then so it's gonna just be six continuous rounds. Yay, so exciting. So the first move is gonna be a rocket launcher. We have definitely been here before. If you're new here, rocket launcher essentially. Your feet are outside just like a squat position. I'm reaching down to the ground and then reaching up to the sky. As I reach up, my heels lift off the ground, going to a little bit of calf racing. Down and up, down and up. Up into those toes. 40 seconds, 20 rest transition. Move number two is a plank to bear crawl run. You kind of have two options for these if you want there to be. Option one, in that high plank, you're just walking your feet in, walking them out. If you want to up the ante, you just pick up the pace, make it a little bit quicker. If you want to add a little bit of a jump, you can just hop your feet in and hop your feet out. But if I'm being quite honest, most likely I'm just going to keep with that alternating, running in, running out, and just try to pick up my pace and go a little bit quicker. Move number three is going to be a traveling lunge plus a knee drive. So my left leg is going to stay planted the whole time for this 40 seconds. Left leg planted, I'm going to make sure I have enough room in front of me and behind me to go to a forward lunge, backward lunge, drive that knee. Forward lunge, backward lunge, drive that knee. Forward, backward, knee drive up, and repeat. So every time I come in after that backward lunge, I drive my knee, I land in that backward lunge, and then I go forward and back. So that left glute should really be taking a lot of the energy, a lot of the weight, and then that knee drive is just to help get that heart rate up. And then we'll repeat on the other side through to number four. And the final move is a sprawl plus three half burpees. So you start your standing position, I sprawled out to the ground, I give you one, two, three hops, and I stand up nice and tall, back down. One, two, three hops, and then I, my feet come a little bit wider as I stand up, feet flat on the ground, lifting with my glutes, not my low back. Cool? That's it though. I'll be here to tell you what's going on, to tell you the moves that are coming up. We're gonna do essentially all six rounds continuous. It is what it is. We're gonna sweat, we're gonna have a good time. Are you guys ready? Do you have any questions about what's going on? Cool. So that first move is that rocket launcher, the plank, bear crawl, run, and then we have that knee drive on one side, knee drive on the other, and finishing with that sprawl plus three uh, half burpees. Let me make sure I have some good tunes for us. Thumbs up, y'all. Rocket launchers. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squat, lift up into those toes. Three, two, 
two, one, rest. Move number two, high plank to bear crawl run. There you go. Four, three, two, one, here we go. Run those feet in, run them out. Or walk them in, walk them out. Remember those knees land just below those hips. Don't bring them in any farther. And keep your hips nice and low. 10. Three, two, rest. Next move, left side plants, forward lunge, backward lunge, knee drive. Three, two, one, here we go. Sit nice and low in that lunge. As you drive that knee up, don't fully extend in that left leg.
Ten seconds to go. Plank to bear run. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Keep in mind which leg is leading. So right now my left leg is the one walking forward and back first. So that next round I come through, I'll switch it up. Once you get the hang of it, try to pick up that pace. Shoulders over wrists. Gaze in front of your fingertips. Ten. Three, two, rest. Y'all, this music. It's okay. It's not bad. Three, two, left side plants, forward lunge, reverse lunge, knee drive. We're on.
heart should really be elevated. I'm starting to sweat. I know, well, this is describing how I feel. Three, two, one, here we go. Run those feet. Y'all get them off our list, y'all. 
back and down. Shoulders away from those ears. Keep your gaze in front of your fingertips. Last 10. Three, two, one.
Remember those knees stop right below your hips, not any farther. Control those hips. Ten.
Chin off your chest. Almost there. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Lunch like planted. Last time on this side. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Drive that knee up. Use those abs to pull it up. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Oh my gosh. It really just hits you all that last run, doesn't it? Five. Right leg plants. Three, two, and one. Less than two minutes of work. was good for hiking not so good for my hit training the altitude did not help me at all oh my goodness how you guys feel how are you doing which move was the toughest for you and then which move was you're like surprised you're like oh dang I got this but regardless low impact hit done virtual high five y'all oh my mom jumped on here hi mom Oh my goodness, thank you guys so much. Let's just cool down, take a breath, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Yeah, the lunges, they got me. That's okay, the traveling lunges, you can make them as slow as you need to. If you need to build your knee, your ankle, your mobility, your strength there, 
that's what you need to build. And it's just working single-sided movements. If you have weak ankles, weak knees, working things on your balance, even just standing there on one foot, 10 seconds each side, swapping back and forth for like a few minutes, that'll help. I am no PT, physical therapist or anything like that, but I know that you just gotta build strength by building that one-sided, one-sided movement. But thank you guys so much. Always make sure to tag me at Spin City. Make sure to follow me and then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm putting out all these new videos and content for you guys. Next video I'm putting out is my salmon cake recipe. It's gonna be like a day in the life vlog, what I eat in a day, and also my salmon cake recipe. I know, everyone's dying to get it. Thank you guys, I appreciate you, I love you. Have a beautiful day, stretch, relax, recover, take your time. It is Thursday and I'll see you on tomorrow's workout. Amazing, I'm so excited, it's gonna hurt so bad. Bye y'all, have a good Thursday.